Hello students, welcome back to JDV Academy. My name is Kranti Kumar. I am mathematics faculty here. Today we are going to discuss the most important topic that is trigonometric functions. Okay? <coughs> trigonometric functions. I know if anybody hears the trigonometry, definitely they will fear because they thought trigonometric is very different. Are trigonometric very difficult okay so trigonometric equations is very difficult to remember okay let's take first the history what is the meaning of the trigonometry see here you no need to fear you no need to know because in this class, I am going to explain the trigonometric functions very easy way. So to solve the equations and problems in the trigonometric functions, you have to remember at least four to five methods and some important formulae. If you if you not understand those methods, if you not remember those formulae, it is very difficult to solve the questions in the trigonometric functions. Okay, you no need to worry about the trigonometric functions, how is difficult. Okay, just to follow my class, you definitely going to solve all the questions which are given in the trigonometric function subject. First, I wanted to explain what is the trigonometry. Trigonometry I divided like this trigon plus a metric. Metric. We already actually trigon is nothing but three sided object. Any three sided object or this one or this one. Metric is nothing but measurement. 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 Okay. Measurement. So this is the trigonometry. So trigonometry is nothing but measurement of measurement of three sided of three side measurements of three sides. Okay. So before we are jump into the trigonometry concept, I wanted to give some basic history basic history about the trigonometry why i wanted to explain this history because everybody feels that mathematics is a very difficult why they feel that because they don't know how the mathematic topic or the particular or concerned subject is developed based on the history if they know the history they definitely know the uh, the concept of the trigonometry functions or any mathematics topic like you can take example sets functions or binomial theorem or limitations or derivations probability sequence and series whatever things you can take and functions also you can take every topics there is a or uh, the great history behind for that to develop those topics similarly Trigonometric functions have also a great history to develop this concept. What is that history we are going to learn? See here, take first example. I am giving example. Actually, I wanted to build a fort. Okay, I wanted to build a fort. I don't, actually I don't know how much height I have to build. How much I, height I have to build, I don't know. But what I know, I know on which distance I have to build. I am here. I wanted to afford to wall some distance. I stand here. Okay. I wanted to build the at some distance here. I wanted to build the height of the wall like this. I wanted to build height of the wall like this. Okay. But I don't know how much height I am going to develop or build. But I know from here to here, I know the distance between this one only. Let's take example, this is the 10 meters. 
Why I know? You know, if you know the floor, you know the floor length, right? You can calculate your floor. You can calculate your floor on the feet. You can calculate your floor on the foot measurement, right? But you don't know how much height you are going to build wall. So what you have to do, what they do in the history, they took an instrument, okay? They took an instrument like kind of telescope and they, they stand it here, okay? If they know the angle of this instrument, that is called theta. If the site is like this, the site of this one is like this, and they can know they can build wall this much of height. So this is and this is this is the distance between this height, this uh, viewpoint, and this is the length point, and this is the height. They can build a height like this. Now they can know the value of the height. So what are the parameters? What are the values here they take? See here they take a value length and they take the value of theta. If they know the value of theta and 10 meters, they can calculate the height of the wall. Okay. Similarly, Take another example too. This example is very a great explanatory example. So, some there is some mountain. Okay, there is some mountain like this. So some people are staying somewhere here, but they wanted to know the distance. They wanted to know that this the height of the mountain. They wanted to know the height of the mountain. Actually, it is very difficult to calculate the height of the mountain or any hill, right? We cannot calculate with our hands. How we can do? So they stand here, those people are stand here and they draw a line. So they know the distance between and this one and this one. This is like to take uh, something uh, 70 meters. Okay. They take an instrument, they take an instrument and they place it here and they saw the edge of this mountain through this instrument. This instrument gives, this instrument gives the value of theta. Okay, if they know the site, if they know the theta, they know the height of the hill. For that, they are using, so for that, they need to develop a separate concept. They don't know how to calculate this height, how to calculate this length. They don't know. They know the only value, this floor value, the length of the 70 centimeters, the distance between the hill and the instrument. They know this instrument gives the only theta value. How much theta is associated with this length? Only those two values they know. How they can find this length? Just imagine how they can find this length. That's why this height of this side. That's why they develop a new mathematical concept. That concept is called trigonometry. Hope you understand, right? If they don't know this concept, they never calculate the height. So from that concept, the trigonometry is developed. Okay. So, okay. Who uses this concept right now? Let's take another example. So, right now, in our in our generation, who use this right now? Civil engineers. Civil engineers. Civil engineers. See, if civil engineer wanted to build a road, they need to see a, some instrument, how much road is there, how much length of the road, they need to calculate. If the civil engineer wanted to build a apartment or any building, they need to see that how much height they wanted to build the wall. Okay, so what they will do? They will do, they will use some instrument, they will see that wall through that instrument, then they know how much height they are going to be built. And who next one? Next one, astronomers. 
astro astronomers see astronomers also uses their telescope to observe the planets stars something uh, brightest uh, uh, objects in the universe they put there some angle distance and they observe the planet and they wanted to know the distance of the planet but they know only the angle which is given by the telescope instrument but they don't know how much distance so that's uh, using that angle they know the distance of the star so these two are very uh, important uh, works presently they are using this trigonometric calculations okay so before i am going to explain the complete concept i wanted to give what is this theta value what is this theta value we don't know we have to learn what is this theta every time i i, I draw a arrow mark like this up here but why am i drawing a down arrow we have to learn this concept right now okay let's take let's take a uh, example of angle let's take heading of angle okay angle what is angle just take exam just take uh, an example just i am taking a arrow and there is a an other arrow now first this arrow at this point now i shift this arrow like this now i shift arrow like this like this so this arrow changing its direction like this okay like a clock in the clock we have a uh, seconds uh, hand hour hand and uh, minute hand so the second hand is moving like this actually in clock second hand is moving in this direction but our uh, calculations we have to take uh, the hand is moving the other hand is moving in this direction so the measuring so see the hand is moving like this the measuring between this line and this line is called a theta called theta okay and this this arrow this arrow is called initial side this is initial side and this is called a terminal side terminal side if there is a angle between the initial side and terminal side that angle is going like this in upward direction that is anti clockwise direction this is this is anti clockwise direction this is anti clockwise direction so this theta is called this theta is positive positive angle okay let's take another example similarly here this is the initial side right this is the initial side now angle is changing like this now terminal hand is changing like this from here to downwards like that so the see here is changing downward direction here changing upward direction and this is theta and this theta is is negative theta now this theta is nothing but negative angle okay so that's why in the previous example i use only positive angles i'm not using negative angles okay see here so we we got the theta value right we got the theta what is the theta so let's take uh, some example so to define how the theta is changed this is the terminal initial initial side and at the same point there is a 
at the same point there is a terminal side also so what is the angle between this terminal side and in, uh, initial side initial side and terminal side angle is zero okay let's take this is terminal side so just at some point this is this is initial side and this is the terminal side and this theta is some kind of 45 degrees okay let's take another example let's take another example this is the initial side now the terminal side is exactly perpendicular to the initial side and we already know this is a 90 degrees angle okay let's see another example so now this is the initial side i and this side terminal side like this and it's moving like this and this is 180 degrees let's take fifth example here i'm taking okay now this is the terminal this is the initial side and this is the terminal side okay see like this how we can calculate this value how we can calculate this theta value see this is 180 okay this is 180 and this is 90 so what is the 180 and 90 completely 270 degrees okay if this terminal side is completely rotate at one circle if it rotate if it rotate one circle this is initial side and uh, if it rotate this is terminal side complete like this this is completely 360 degrees okay hope you understand it These are the very important values. How we can represent angles 0, 45, 90, 180, 270 and 360 degrees. Okay? Hope you understand. So in the next class, we are going to learn so how we are measure uh, these angles, what is the units of these angles. We are going to learn on those techniques and we are going to learn also the relation between the, the two different angles. To measure this angle okay thank you very much we will meet in the next class